Hi and welcome back. I know I just did one, but um, I'm going to go ahead and read Second Chronicles 26 to 30 so we can keep this momentum going. Um, I'm out here just trying to enjoy some sun getting outside, uh, getting away from my son. I was annoying him, I think, this past couple of days. So I think it will do both of us some good. So I left the house for a little bit. So um, let me just give a prayer of thanks and then we'll jump into it, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the blessings upon our lives. Thank you for your word. I thank you for the listener, for them um, joining, listen, uh, reading, taking time to build a relationship with you. Father God, I ask that you bless them extra today. Um, wherever they are in their situation, may they lie their concerns at your feet. Um, as always, I pray that it's your voice that is heard and not my own pray that a message is received that we're able to understand it and one day share it is in your mighty name i pray amen okay now all the people of judah took uzziah who was 16 years old and made him king instead of his father amaziah he built elath and restored it to judah after the king rested with his fathers uzziah was 16 years old when he became king and he reigned 52 years in jerusalem his mother's name was Jecoliah of Jerusalem, and he did what was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that his father Amaziah had done. He sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had an understanding in the visions of God, and as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. Now he went out and made war against the Philistines and broke down the wall of Gath, the wall of Jabne, and the wall of Ashdod. And he built cities around Ashdod, and among the Philistines, God helped him against the Philistines, against the Arabians who lived in Ger, Bel, and against the Moonites. Also the Ammonites brought tribute to Uzziah. His fame spread as far as the entrance of Egypt, for he became exceedingly strong. Hello. Hi, hello. And Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate, at the valley gate, and at the corner buttress of the wall. Then he fortified them. Also, he built the towers in the desert. He dug many wells, for he had much livestock, both in the lowlands and in the plains. He also had farmers and vine, and vine dressers in the mountains and in Carmel, for he loved the soil. Moreover, Uzziah had an army of fighting men who went out to war by companies, according to the number on their roll, as prepared by Jael, the scribe, and Maasiah, the officer, under the hand of Hananiah, one of the king's captains. <laughs> the total number of chief officers of the mighty men of valor was 2,600 and under their authority was an army of 370 and 7,500 that made war with mighty power to help the king against the enemy. Then Uzziah pre prepared for them for the entire army shields, spears, helmets, body armor bows and slings to cast stones, and he made devices in Jerusalem invented by skillful men to be on the towers and on the corners to shoot arrows and large stones. So his fame spread far and wide, for he was marvelously helping. Well, he was marvelous, marvelously helped till he became strong. The penalty of Uzziah's pride. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction, for he transgressed against the Lord his God by entering the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. So Azariah the priest went in after him, and with him were eighty priests of the Lord. Oh, imagine eighty priests on you, valiant men. And they withstood King Uzziah and said to him, It is not for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord, but for the priests, the sons of Aaron, who are consecrated to burn incense. Get out of the sanctuary, for you have trespassed. You shall have, you shall have no honor from the Lord God. Then Uzziah became furious, and he had a censer in his hand to burn incense. And while he was angry with the priests, leprosy broke out on his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord beside the incense altar. And Azariah, the chief priest, and all the priests looked at him, and there on his forehead he was leprous. So they, trust, they thrust him out of that place. Indeed, he also hurried to get out because the Lord had struck him. King Uzziah was a leper until the day of his death. He dwelt in an isolated house because he was a leper, for he was cut off from the house of the Lord. Then Jotham, his son, was over the king's house, judging the people of the land.
Now the rest of the Acts of Uzziah, from the first to the last, the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, wrote, So Uzziah rested with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the field of burial which belonged to the kings. For they said, He is a leper. Then Jotham his son reigned in his place. Jotham reigns in Judah, 27. Jotham was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Although he did not enter the temple of the Lord, but still the people acted corruptly. He built the upper gate of the house of the Lord, and he built extensively on the wall of Ophel. Moreover, he built cities in the mountains of Judah, and in the forest he built fortresses and towers. He also fought with the king of the Ammonites and defeated them. And the people of Ammon gave him in that year 100 talents of silver, 10,000 core of wheat, and 10,000 of barley. The people of Ammon paid to him in the second and third years also. So Jotham became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all his wars and his ways, indeed they are written in the book of the king of Israel and Judah. He was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. So Jotham rested with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. Then Ahaz, his son, reigned in his place. Ahaz reigns in Judah. Ahaz was 20 years old when he became king, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, and he did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord, as his father David had done. For he walked in the ways of the king of Israel, and made molded images for the bells. He burned incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burned his children in the fire, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. And he sacrificed and burned incense on the high places, on the hills, and under every green tree. Almost everything that he's not supposed to do with other gods and uh, worshiping idols, he's doing here. Even um, putting children to an awful death. Um, Syria and Israel defeat Judah. Verse 5. Therefore the Lord his God delivered him into the hand of the king of Syria. They defeated him and carried away a great multitude of them as captives and brought them to Damascus. Then he was also delivered into the hand of the king of Israel who defeated him with a great slaughter. For Pekah, the son of Remaliah, killed 120,000 in Judah. In one day, all valiant men, because they had forsaken the Lord, God of their fathers, Zikri, a mighty man of Ephraim, killed Maaseiah, the king's son, Azrakam, the officer over the house, and Elkanah, who was second to the king. And the children of Israel carried away captive of their brethren 200,000 women, sons and daughters. And they also took away much spoil from them and brought the spoil to Samaria. Israel return, returns the captives. But a prophet of the Lord was there, whose name was Oded. And he went out before the army that came to Samaria and said to them, Look, because the Lord God of your fathers was angry with Judah, he has delivered them into your hand, but you have killed them in a rage that reaches up to heaven. And now you propose to force the children of Judah and Jerusalem to be your male and female slaves. But are you not also guilty before the Lord your God? Now hear me, therefore, and return the captives whom you have taken captive from your brethren, for the fierce wrath of the Lord is upon you. Then some of the heads of the children of Ephraim, Azariah, the son of Johanan, uh, Berechiah, the son of Meshelemoth, Jehezekiah, the son of Shalom, and Amisa, the son of Hadlai, stood up against those who came from the war and said to them, You shall not bring the captives here, for we already have offended the Lord. You intend to add to our sins and to our guilt, for our guilt is great, and there is fierce wrath against Israel. So the armed men left the captives and the spoil before the leaders in all the assembly. Then the men who were designated by name rose up and took the captives, and from the spoil they clothed all who were naked among them, dressed them and gave them sandals, gave them food and drink, and anointed them. And they let all the feeble ones ride on donkeys, so they brought them to their brethren at Jericho, the city of palm trees. Then they returned to Samaria. Assyria refuses to help Judah. At the, at the same time, King Ahaz sent for the king of Assyria to help him. For again, the Edomites had, came, 
had come, attacked Judah, and carried away captives. The Philistines also had invaded the cities of Lowland and of the south of Judah, and had taken Beth, Shemesh, Ajalon, Gedaroth, uh, Soko with its villages, Timnah with its villages, and Gimso with its villages. And they dwelt there, for the Lord brought Judah low because of Ahaz, king of Israel. For he had encouraged moral decline in Judah, and had been continually unfaithful to the Lord. Also, Tiglath, Pileser, king of Assyria, came to him and distressed him, and did not assist him. For Ahaz took part of the treasures from the house of the Lord, from the house of the king, and from the leaders, and he gave it to the king of Assyria, but he did not help him. Apostasy and Death of Ahaz now in the time of his distress, King Ahaz became increasingly unfaithful to the Lord. This is that King Ahaz, for he sacrificed to the gods of Damascus, which had defeated him, saying, Because the gods of the kings of Syria helped them, I will sacrifice to them, that they may help me. But they were the ruin of him and of all Israel. So Ahaz gathered the articles of the house of God, cut in pieces the articles of the house of God, shut up the doors of the house of the Lord, and made for himself altars in every corner of Jerusalem and in every single city of Judah. He made high places to burn incense to other gods and provoked to anger the Lord God of his fathers. Now the rest of his acts and all his ways from first to last indeed, they are written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. So Ahaz, a lot of traffic, but I like it. So Ahaz rested with his fathers, and they buried him in the city in Jerusalem, but they did not bring him into the tombs of the king of Israel. Then Hezekiah, his son, reigned in his place. Hezekiah reigns in Judah. Hezekiah became king when he was 25 years old, and he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Abijah, the daughter of Zechariah, and he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father David had done. Hezekiah cleanses the temple. In the first year of his reign, in the first month, he opened the doors of the house of the Lord and repaired them. Then he brought in the priests and the Levites and gathered them in the east square and said to them, Hear me, Levites, now sanctify yourselves, sanctify the house of the Lord, God of your fathers, and carry out the rubbish from the holy place. For our fathers have trespassed and done evil in the eyes of the Lord our God. They have forsaken him, have turned their faces away from the dwelling place of the Lord, and turned their backs on him. I love that, how he calls them out and he's like, I'm here to clean up house. I love that. So he's going to serve the Lord, Hezekiah. <clears throat> and they're getting things right in the house of the Lord. So where am I at? For our fathers have trespassed and done evil in the eyes of the Lord our God. They have forsaken him, have turned their faces away from the dwelling place of the Lord and turned their backs on him. They have also shut up the doors of the vestibule, put out on the put out the lamps and have not burned incense or offered burnt offerings in the holy place to the God of Israel. Therefore, the wrath of the Lord fell upon Judah and Jerusalem. He has given them up to trouble, to desolation and to jeering, as you see with your eyes. For indeed, because of this, our fathers have fallen by the sword and our sons, our daughters and our wives are in captivity. Now it is in my heart to make a covenant with the Lord God of Israel that his fierce wrath may turn away from us. My sons, do not be negligent now, for the Lord has chosen you to stand before him, to serve him, and that you should minister to him and burn incense. Then these Levites arose, Mahath the son of Amasai, and Joel the son of Azariah, of the sons of Kohath, Kohathites of the sons of Merari, Kish the son of Abdi, and Azariah the son of Jehel Jehelel of the Gershonites, Joah the son of Zima and Eden, the son of Joah. Of the sons of Elizabeth, Shimri and Jael, of the sons of Asaph, Zechariah and Mataniah, of the sons of Heman, Jehiel and Shimi, and of the sons of Judith, Shemaiah and Uziel. Uzi. I hope you guys don't mind the, um, he has like these boats, remote boats. <laughs> it's always right behind us. And they gathered their brethren, sanctified themselves, and went according to the commandment of the king at the word of the Lord to cleanse the house of the Lord. Then the priests went into the inner part of the house of the Lord to cleanse it and brought out all the debris that they found in the temple of the Lord to the court of the house of the Lord. And the Levites took it out and carried it to the brook Kidron. Now they began to sanctify on the first day of the first month and on the eighth day of the month 
they came to the vestibule of the Lord, in the porch of the Lord. So they sanctified the house of the Lord in eight days. And on the 16th day of the first month, they finished. Then they went to King Hezekiah and said, Whew, forgive me. <laughs> so, um, I think this one is going to be to 29 because this I still have a whole page of 29 and 30 is the same. I don't want to do that to you. Um, all the house of the Lord, the altar of burnt offerings with all its articles and the table of showbread with all its articles. Moreover, all the articles which King Ahaz in his reign had cast aside in his transgression, we have prepared and sanctified. And there they are before the altar of the Lord. Hezekiah restores temple worship. Then King Hezekiah rose early, gathered the rulers of the city, and went up to the house of the Lord. And they brought seven bulls, seven rams, seven lambs, and seven male goats for a sin offering for the kingdom, for the sanctuary, and for Judah. Then he commanded the priests, the sons of Aaron, to offer them on the altar of the Lord. So they killed the bulls, and the priests received the blood and sprinkled it on the altar. Likewise, they killed the rams and sprinkled the blood on the altar. They also killed the lambs and sprinkled the blood on the altar. Then they brought out the male goats for the sin offering before the king and the assembly, and they laid their hands on them, and the priests killed them, and they presented their blood on the altar as a sin offering to make an atonement for all Israel, for the king commanded that the burnt offerings and the sin offering be made for all Israel. So they're trying to, um, for all that has happened, has passed, they're trying to get things back in order and back in alignment with God. And he stationed the Levites in the house of the Lord with cymbals, with stringed instruments, and with harps, according to the commandment of David of Gad, the king's seer, and of Nathan the prophet. For thus was the commandment of the Lord by his prophets. The Levites stood with the instruments of David, and the priests with the trumpets. Then Hezekiah commanded them to offer the burnt offering on the altar. And when the burnt offering began, the song, of, the song of the Lord also began, with the trumpets and with the instruments of David, king of Israel. So all the assembly worshipped the singers, saying, and the trumpeters sounded all that continued until the burnt offering was finished. And when they had finished offering, the king and all who were present with him bowed and worshipped. Moreover, King Hezekiah and the leaders commanded the Levites to sing praise to the Lord with the words of David and of Asaph the seer. So they sang praises with gladness, and they bowed their heads and worshipped. Then Hezekiah answered and said, Now that you have consecrated yourself to the Lord, come near and bring sacrifices and think of, and thank offerings into the house of the Lord. So the assembly brought in sacrifices and thank offerings, and as many as were of a willing heart brought burnt offerings. And the number of the burnt offerings, hang in there, I, I hear it too. And the number of the burnt offerings which the assembly brought was 70 bulls, 100 rams and 200 lambs all these were for a burnt offering to the lord the consecrated things were 600 bulls and 3,000 sheep but the priests were too few few so they could not skin all the burnt offerings therefore their brethren the levites helped them until the work was ended and until the other priests had sanctified themselves for the levites were more diligent in sanctifying themselves than the priests also the burnt offerings were in abundance with the fat of the peace offerings and with the drink offerings for every burnt offering so the service of the house of the lord was set in order then hezekiah and all the people rejoiced that god had prepared the people since the events took place so suddenly how oh, what a turnaround right and did you catch that number of the burnt offerings what do you say oh, I'm, i lost it three thousand sheep can you imagine they're skinning them and and there's another big number there but i'm gonna leave it alone because uh, i want to leave you guys alone <laughs> um hope all is well you take care of yourself god bless you bye